Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make the best bread recipe ever. It's going to be super easy, super straightforward. It's not going to be complicated at all, I promise you. So if you guys want to know how to make this awesome white bread, just keep on watching. Before you bake your bread, you want to preheat your oven at 425 degrees but then bring it down to 375 degrees once you're ready to bake. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add one tablespoon of yeast to a medium-sized bowl and you're going to mix it with one cup of lukewarm water. So a lot of people ask me what does warm water do to yeast? The warm water basically warms up the yeast to temperature so it can start the fermentation. So the next thing that you're going to do is you're going to add sugar. Now sugar is super important when you're making bread because what the sugar does, it's going to feed the yeast. It's also going to help to produce carbon dioxide. So next we're going to set that yeast aside for five minutes. Within those five minutes, you should see the yeast bubbling and getting almost creamy. So if nothing happens during this process, that means that your yeast is pretty much dead. That means that you need to get fresh yeast and start all over again. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a third of a cup of vegetable oil or canola oil. And we're also going to add one egg. So you're going to mix that all together really, really well. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add our flour. So we're going to be using bread flour for this recipe. And I'm going to use about three cups of flour. Now when adding your flour to your yeast mixture, you want to add a little bit at a time. You want to start mixing it until you start seeing the dough forming into a ball. Once you're at that stage, you're good to go and you can put your dough onto a flour surface so you can start kneading it. So you're going to start kneading your dough for about five to eight minutes just until it becomes nice and smooth, elastic, and shiny. So once you're done kneading your dough for about five to eight minutes, you're going to put your dough into a bowl that has been lightly coated with oil. Then you're going to cover your bowl with a damp cloth. You want to proof your dough for about an hour and a half. It's super, super important that you're proofing your dough for a certain amount of time because if you underproof it, you're going to start seeing a lot of things wrong with your bread. So the next thing we're going to do once our dough has proofed for about an hour and a half, we're going to remove our damp cloth and we're going to punch our dough right in the center so that we can release all the air from it. Then you're going to place your dough onto a flour surface. Then you're going to start pushing out all the air out of it. So you just want to use the tips of your fingers and you just want to press down to release all that air. Next, you're going to fold each side. Then you're going to roll it up like a burrito. You want to make sure that the bottom of your dough is not open. So you want to make sure that you're pinching the bottom of the dough and you're making sure that the ends are also pinched. If you have a little bit of an opening on the bottom of your bread, when you're proofing it again, that opening is going to get bigger and bigger and bigger while proofing. So once your dough has been nicely shaped, you're going to put it in a loaf pan that has been buttered, and we're going to proof this for about 35 minutes. So now that our dough has doubled in size, we're going to lightly brush a little bit of melted butter on top so it can get nice and golden brown. And we're going to bake this for about 35 minutes. And a way to check if your bread is ready, you're going to start tapping the top of your bread. And if you hear that it's hollow, then it's done. So then you can remove it from your pan. That's something else that I want to point out is that when you take your bread out of the oven, you want to make sure that you're taking it out of the pan as soon as possible. Because if you leave it there, you're going to create steam and then it's going to get soggy in there. So you want to remove it as soon as it comes out of the oven so it can cool down for about 10 to 15 minutes. So then finally you guys can either skip this step, but I do recommend it, is to lightly brush the melted butter on top of your bread. So that's how you make the best white bread ever. It's super simple and hopefully you guys enjoy this, hopefully you didn't think it was too complicated, but I really really enjoyed making this bread for you guys, I really hope you guys try it. If you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you guys want to watch more of my videos, please don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.